guys. This is Southern Chills. Uh, so, trying something a little bit new here. Uh, break away from the story channel without doing the creepy pastas. In my downtime, I'm going to try to start doing some gaming on a on this completely separate channel. Uh, so we're going to focus mainly on horror on this channel, uh, just horror gaming in general. So bear with me. I am not a humongous gamer, but this game was recommended to me by a fellow redditor, uh, somebody who writes some amazing stories, and uh, yeah, let's jump on into this and see how it, how it goes. So, wake up. What the fuck? Okay. It's difficult for me to express emotions. I envy other people. They make faces naturally. But I have to make a conscious decision each time I move a muscle. Every morning, I go to the bathroom to rehearse what my face is going to show today. newspaper. Newsletter. On Saturday afternoon, November 12th at 1 p.m., a fire has erupted in an apartment building on Cortland Street. Unintelligible. Killing all of its inhabitants. The apartment was allegedly used by a group led by Mr. Unintelligible. As the police are investigating the case, access to the site is currently restricted. Okay. <clears throat> I know what the code is. After all, it's my diary. We don't know what the code is. It's an empty glass. You got a trash bag. Okay. How do we... Okay. Oh, okay. see Mrs. Hutchings today, she will ask how I am, like every morning. I won't answer good, thank you. Oh crap, we're on time. What? If I see a dead dog on the street, I'll make a face like this. Some weird guy approaches me at the store. I'll scare him away. Disgusting. 
That ain't happening. No, that's not the face I'd like to make. If somewhere guy approaches me at the store, I'll scare him away. Catches me off guard with an unexpected call. Take the trash out before going to school. Haven't appeared there for a while. Oh, okay, so we probably should have read this before. Let's make some changes real quick. As I am kind of new to this, I'll just throw some easy vote on. Longer answer times and face will not move on its own. Oh, I didn't know the face moved on its own. Yes, I know. I'm a horrible person. Alright, so I got the trash. you answering the phone they gave you. Anyway, have you heard? Father Lawrence is dead. Meet me at the train station. I thought it was broken. Leela? Please. Please. I beg you. Let me back in. Slightly disturbing. So I got this trash bag. What do I do with it? I'll go here. Okay, go this door. Sweetie, 
Kulağını saçın. What are you up to so early in the morning? Just throwing out some of the trash, Mrs. Hutchins. There has been an awful lot of crows near our trash cans. Annoying critters. I'll be on my way, Mrs. Hutchins. Take care of yourself, sweetie. who has shown tremendous growth, demonstrating an unusual commitment to learning and academics despite various obstacles. Yeah, <laughs> so... An award granted to Tanya Kennedy for national recognition to academic excellence and achievements in secondary education. And I remember her telling me about this. Too bad I didn't get to see it back then. award granted to Martha Jennings as recognition that she aforementioned student has studied and attained proficiency in two or more languages by high school graduation. Someday I'll get one too. I just know I have to. Why do girls like Kennedy have it so easy? Or like Martha Jennings. I've heard she's a real airhead outside of school though. Carries a second set of apartment keys in her backpack in case she loses hers. And that's who gets the awards. Yeah. They lead a heated discussion concerning who's going to get real concerning who's going to get real high. And he'll just have a can of beer at the upcoming party. They probably, they probably mean Matt's place. You know, I crafted that. Oh well, returning to your old self. I mean, it's fine. I cry all the time too. No, no, it's, it's not because of that. It's I just, you know, been meditating for the past couple months, and today I, I've, I've realized something. Oh yeah? Was it like sad? No, I couldn't stop gig you know, giggling, you know. So what is it? It's going to sound dumb, but look, like, I know now that all the thoughts you have in your head are really conflicts. Yeah, the inner monologue and so on, it's like thoughts are arguing in you. Yes, yes, but the thing is, you really just 
this you is really just these arguments. If you look at them, they disappear. And when they disappear, you disappear. Want to get a soda? I think that creeps eavesdropping. School's layout is so weird. I keep walking in the same door and ending up in different places. Hey man, strange seeing you here. Finally decided to catch up on your education. Yeah, kinda. <laughs> the hell are you grinning about? I've been looking all over for you. He, you know, you know why? If I were you, I'd stay away from school. I'd watch my back, Will. This locker belongs to Michael Graves. It's locked. This locker belonged to Tanya Kennedy. It's locked. I wonder where the key might be. That's Matthew's locker. It's locked. That you? Hell, hello, everyone. What the hell do you think you're doing here? Jimmy, wait. Will, where have you been? Where's Tanya? Without you noticing, your face is stretching into a stupid grin. Huh. Tanya. Smiled. I'm not joking, Will. She hasn't been answering her phone. She's not at home either. Her mom called us. I think the police are involved or something because Martha is at the principal's office right now. Is she? Yeah. Yeah, look man, I know we didn't spend much time together lately, but, you know, we really need everything you know about Tanya. Don't be that straightforward about it. But yeah, that's the gist of this. We're very worried about her, Will. Please, could you tell us where she is? I swear, I don't know. Why do you think I spent time with her anyways? Martha's known for making up stuff. That's not true. Yeah, easy on acquisitions. Look guys, why are you both so bothered by it anyway? Maybe she just needs some time alone. Do you yourself even believe this? You know, Tanya, not much. I, we know Tonya much longer than you. It's not like that, you know. Maybe you need to chill and let her live her life, man. Maybe you need to stop fucking around and tell us where she is. Jim. Where is Martha, by the way? It's not important, asshole. Jim. The principal wanted to see her. So will. 
Are you saying you don't know where Tanya is? Nope. So Martha's at the principal's office now. I think she's already finished with her. Big Grace said he's seen her on the roof. Alright. He wanted to see you too, by the way. Anyway, what about? Good. I'll be on my way then. Hey, wait a minute. Well, wait. You have any tasks? What's it to you, old man? No reason to be so hostile, Leela. After all, you're the one who came here. It's tricky not to get lost in the bullet rooms. But with years, you start hearing a divine melody. Flutes and trombones and saxes from beyond. It always comes from the place you seek. Listen for it. You just stand beside each door and listen. <laughs> By the way, what are you planning on to do about the lady? The lady that hides in your bowlers. Don't talk of what? Don't talk of what you know nothing about, you old fool. circles at this point. So, let's see we get back to the task at hand and find uh, Martha's classroom. Oh, 
hello. Hey there. Ah, uh, sorry, do we know each other? Wait, weren't you at that party? Um, at Matt's party, about a month ago? Yeah, we talked, I remember. <coughs> she probably means the party at 2927 and 1 Fairfox Street. You were there, but you don't know who this is. Sure, I'll remember you. How have you been? Have you heard? Have you heard, by the way? That girl I was at the party, Tanya. Tanya Kennedy. Nobody seems to know where she is. Is that so? Mm-hmm. I've seen the police car outside, and it's a secret, but Martha Jennings at the principal's now. <clears throat> What's her class in the room number, by the way? Martha's? Uh, let's... Wait. Why are you asking? She isn't there now, right? I'm sorry, I, I don't feel comfortable talking to you. Could you leave, please? Sure. You feel... You feel you won't find out where Martha's classroom is. Check that also. Okay, so we screwed up. So auto save. Please classroom. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look this up really quick. Let's see.
Okay, so we need to try to make a sad face. No? You okay? Has something happened between you two? She looks like the gossip type. You decided to put on a show. No, I mean, how could she? I mean, she's been avoiding me all these days. Yes, we broke up, but poor Kennedy's missing. We have to talk. I... Wait, you dated? You did not. Oh, but it's a secret. I need to see her honestly. Oh, I get it. Of course, of course, I understand. It's 4.30. The door near the, this one, actually. Okay, I got a little rough. Seven four zero, Berthwood Street, Michigan, five eight two three nine. It's a pack of pads. They found Martha's keys. Friend. Ah, uh, um, what are you doing here, Will? I want to talk to you about something, Martha. You've been to the principals? No. I know you have. What do you want, Will? I know you're the last person to see Tanya. That's all. Do you think we don't know what was happening between you two? Have you talked to the officers yet? Why do you answer? Yes, yeah, yes, I did, but I didn't tell them much yet. I think a certain detective wants to see me tomorrow. Name? I, I don't know. I only remember it's Asian. Some like, something like Detective U, I'm not sure. Anyway, why do you... It's really not good to spread rumors, Martha. That's a sign of a very, very bad friend. What? What are you talking about? Are you alright? What's what's going on, William? Well, I'll tell you what's going on, Mark. Hey, asshole. Oh, hi, Mike. <laughs> this made Mike more alert. He 
tenses up. I've been looking for you. Where's Tanya? Was that why you were looking for me this morning? Cut the crap. Where is she? is up. Where the fuck is my girlfriend? I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Yeah, right. First she gets with you behind my back. Next thing I know, she's missing. A whole fucking week, dude. It just can't be that you don't fucking know. This looks sincere. Mike is almost confused. The hell do you mean? Martha told me. She's lying about us. I'm not. You know what we hate most in this com co company? We hate rats. Isn't that so, Graves? Mike is confused. Dude, quit it. Martha's a friend. She never lied to us, right? Of course I wouldn't. Why are you doing this, Will? I've seen you two at the party when, you know. And I know Tanya went with you. That's when you both disappeared. Why won't you tell us what happened? trying to compose himself. Look, man, I know you had your issues with us, uh, with showing emotions and empathy and stuff, and that we had our differences. But please, you know I love this girl. Please tell me what you know, Will. I'm as worried as you are. I know you guys don't like me that much. But we're all in this together. We'll find Tanya. Don't worry about it. The universe has better plans for you. Don't give me that shit. I'm not forgiving you two for what you did behind my back. Wait. Did you say? I said we'll find Tanya. No, no. After that, you said the universe has better plans for you. You did, didn't you? That's what she always said. You're doing also you're doing this on purpose, aren't you? Fucking freak. So is this how you were planning on finding out where she is? By calling me a freak? I knew I couldn't trust you, Graves. But what? So you just tricked me, you fuck. You did, didn't you? You you Okay, I think I might, I might know where this is going. I'll see where this is going. I think he's all right now, Dr. Hades. A very lucky man, though. To fall from such a great high roof, from such a high roof, and not even break anything. Was he on drugs? No, blood sample shows he's clear. Nothing really. Not even alcohol. I think he needs rest now.
also, I've been meaning to ask you, when I'm not like, you know, visually imposing you, where do you go? <laughs> well, nowhere really. I just stopped, you know, being, oh? Must be really scary. <laughs> not really. You do it all the time too, Will. When you lose consciousness or when you sleep without dreams. So not existing is like being asleep. It's not really like anything as there isn't someone for whom it's like something. Not being doesn't really happen to anybody per se. Well, you just said it happens to me sometimes. It's very bold of you to assume that some of, some some you actually exists. <laughs> well, Leela. But Leela, you aren't making any sense now. I'm I'm here and I'm talking to you. Is that so? And how would you describe that I? Um, I I don't know. Like like I'm young and maybe overanalyzing and. I really like lemon soda and I broke my knee when I was in kindergarten. So, you are your personality and your memories? Is that what you are trying to say? Yeah. Oh, music. There we go. I believe that should be better. You see, Will, there, there's a problem with what you just said. Oh, yeah? Yes, uh, let's pretend for a moment you're right. And you really are your personality, memories, and so on. But isn't the one listening to me right now also you? Uh, sure. And the one seeing me is you, and the one feeling all the different things is you? Let's call this you the perceiver. Uh-huh. We like to imagine the perceiver as a pupil of an eye. The perceiver may cast his gaze upon anything. Colors or sounds, touch or feelings. But how do you imagine it looking at itself directly? A mirror? Oh, I wouldn't say trust the mirror, my dear William. The ghosts on the other side may only look like us. Alright, in that sense it really can't. The pupil can never see itself, so what? It means that whatever the pupil can perceive is not it. You can analyze your memories and your personality, yet the real perceiver always stays in the shadows. One of his human names is the Prince. Although he doesn't really have a name, of course. In that sense, there really, there isn't really a difference between you and other people, Will. Huh? What do you mean? For you, where do other people exist? I mean, their minds, memories, and so on. And their heads? Wrong. You have no ability to see what's inside someone's head. To see, to you, people are just fictitious, just a fictitious creation. A number of expectations generated from their actions. A phantom existing exclusively in your head. And the funny thing is, your own personality is too. What? I'm real, Leela. Even if other people may be imagined by me, my own character is... What's the definition of imaginary? Something that exists just in my mind. And where does your personality reside? It's all right, my sweet William. You, your memories, your mind, these are only temporary shards of colored glass. The visioner, the perceiver, the prince may only look through them and imagine for a moment that he is these shards. He never truly becomes them, and it's surprising how quickly he may look away from one to another. 
Remember, Will, the moment he looks at another one of them, he might think he's someone different. As you stare at the vial before you, you are filled with emotions of strange nostalgia. The curtains flap in the wind, yet you don't feel a drought. A hauntingly beautiful melody can be heard from behind it. For a moment, you can't help but gaze at the shriveling fabric. So this is, yeah, very interesting, very interesting city, is that a boat? Just a paddling down the river. Okay, what the what's that? Oh no! Oh no! Our little sociopath. Uh, yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, that was it. That was, uh, well, that was one of 15 endings. Alright. Well, that's going to, I believe that's going to conclude my session for this video. If you like it, if you like this, um, like and subscribe. Uh, be sure to check out my other channel, Southern Chills. Uh, if you like creepy pastas and Reddit stories, um, Got some pretty great writers on there that give, uh, let me use their stories. Uh, some of the stories I do myself. Uh, let's uh, see how far this goes. So with that, hope everybody has a great night. Hope you have a great weekend. And stay safe.